Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Prismata. Um, I looked over the videos from the last recording session, which I think is the last three episodes, and I noticed that like, I sound pretty quiet in them, and it's sometimes hard to hear me over the music. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the deal with that is. I think my recording settings are the same. Uh, some of the physical equipment might have gotten moved around, so I've tried to readjust that. I think really the problem is that I was just speaking very quietly that day, in sort of a, a contemplative mood. And as a result, it was hard to understand me. Um, I don't know. I'll try to speak up. I've also turned down the music and, and game sound volume a bit. But it's easy to, to get caught up and like not project all the time. So apologies. Uh, what is the deal here? Like, there's a ton of like red stuff and green stuff, obviously. I think that the red stuff should lose to, like, a fission cluster rush, and Galvani helps with that, uh, because, like, DDDC is actually a good opening for fission cluster. Um, Plexo just makes it better, and like, there's no way you can ever get Shadow Fangs under that kind of pressure. So I think we can ignore all the red stuff, we can ignore Drakes, and it's just like these units. And, um... I don't know exactly how much use Tantalum and, uh, and Plexo are gonna get, because Cluster is such a nice green sink, and Fission is a great green attacker that produces more green for you. So, like, these are the three primary units I expect to build, and I'll probably want to build Plexos eventually against my opponent's clusters, but I'd rather build fewer of them, of course. Tantalum Rays... I don't know. If I have enough economy lying around, I'm sure they'd be nice. Um, am I getting a wall? Probably. It should be the kind of thing that's possible to fit in. Last time I had a Fission Cluster set, I didn't play it aggressively enough. And um, I discussed it on the, on the Prismata Discord and was like, gosh, it seems hard to get blue. But actually, like, I don't know, it's not that hard. You can get the green you need and also blue. But also, since I have Galvani's, the walls are a little bit less of a priority since uh, I can be exploited uh, by attacking them, so maybe I'll wait a little longer before getting into that. But I think we just like launch into it here and start buying fissions, right? Oh no! Wow! I just- this- this- this feels shockingly wrong to me. And I'm worried that I'm somehow misjudging things, because I know String is a good player, but like, how can you possibly, POSSIBLY get anything red here? Wow. What am I missing? I guess, so, I'm like a million percent certain that this red stuff loses to what I'm doing. I just need to make sure that I play it right and don't miss anything... Don't make myself too vulnerable. Like, for example, is the second conduit wrong? No. But it's something to think about. Should I buy more drones? I don't think so. But it's something to think about. I just want to get enough green that I can buy clusters. Um, I imagine they're going to try for, like, some Immolites to breach my fission turrets early, but I'll have Plexo, so... Well, Plexo's not so great against Immolites, but I have Force Field, whatever. Um, I don't actually need a force field, I can just replace the engineers. I could also get a wall here, I guess, or a forge and try to get a wall. That might be nice. Here they should kill my NGs, though. So, like, force field? 
it's correct for them to click both of these. And then they'll probably kill the Galvanis is the problem. So like I'm sort of at a at a tough spot whether I force field or not, I think. Um wait. Just hit them harder, right? Yeah. I think they should still kill my engineers, and so just replacing them is good. If they try to exploit me by killing Galvanis instead, like, that's sort of fine. too many of these, right? Also, do I really even want more conduits? Clusters are great, so probably, right? Also, plexos are great. Like, how could this be wrong? The only issue is, like, if they actually attack with everything, which they, they very well might, actually. This red, like, they want to get rid of it as soon as possible. So they might be just clicking this Marcus. Um, and then I can't afford another Galvani. I'll just buy another NG. I love engineers. Maybe I could throw this in instead of getting another conduit? No. I want to be able to get to clusters soon. So this um, force field protects my Galvani, sort of, because like they're likely to lose the Rhino and absorb onto Wall, right? I don't, I don't really need to worry about being breached that badly. Um, if they just attack for four and they want to get to a drone, like that's actually really hard for them to do. They have to lose this wall. Actually, they'd get to a fission. That might be worth preventing. Maybe do this. And then I can sort of afford a second Galvani because they're only likely to attack for three and I get to keep um, two engineers alive to harvest these guys. But will I get to harvest them twice? Maybe. Probably not, though. Maybe what I should do is just get a wall, like, or, or get a forge for walls, right? Yeah, that actually seems pretty cool. Next turn I can get a wall and possibly another fission turret or maybe just like a cluster bolt or something. Cluster Bolt is actually going to be great along with the wall because it'll stop them from exploiting me by attacking for only two and killing a Galvani. They have to attack for at least three, so even if they kill my Galvani, my wall gets full absorb. Mm, okay, you could stop me from building another fission if you do that, I guess. Hmm. Not going to, though. Fair enough. Now, this might make it a little bit difficult. This cluster might actually be wrong. It makes it hard for me to harvest my fission next turn. It gives them the fourth attack they need, so that if they go... If they click the Smorkus, which I think they should do, I won't get to harvest my fission. So maybe this is not that great. I could force field here instead, but then if they attack for three, it's still hard for me to get the enemy. So I think it might be better to just not fission. Leave that out and do this. Now, no matter what, I get to harvest the fission, and I can build 
multiple cluster bolts next turn. Like two clusters and a, I don't know, force field or something to protect my, my engineers. Oh, yeah, I don't get to harvest the Galvani if I also click the fissions. I guess that's not the end of the world. Um, killing this is a bit interesting because it would make um, it would mean four attack, which they would want to lose granularity for. But I think it's still better to just kill the walls and be threatening more actual damage. Uh, they're doing so. I'd like an engineer here, and seven damage is just wall force field wall, uh, which means I'll be able to harvest a fission and still click Galvani next turn. Uh, yeah, I forgot they don't actually have to click the Smorkus. Maybe the force field was wrong. Um, would I rather have a dollar or a health? I guess that's a, a decision I can make after uh, I try out both things, right? So let's say I just build more clusters. This seems fine. On the other hand, I don't have any attack. <laughs> like, uh, my fissions are dying and I'm not buying more. So I'm spending everything on these clusters. I have to break him with these pretty quickly, I feel like. I hate wasting the blue. Uh, seven is... Hmm. I guess I just get a wall. Don't love it. What else could I do? I could get a plexo and a splitter? They exploit that by holding back their attack, so it doesn't seem great. Um, a splitter's not really anything. I, I need to kill them with like all these clusters, right? This lets me still harvest the fission, and I can build one more. I'm not doing enough damage. I don't have enough green. My opponent's just not coming under enough stress, I feel like. Maybe they are. Attack for five. Do I need permanent attackers or is just more fissions good enough? I have enough green to keep cluster bolting, so this is doing something. I can support at least one more Galvani for at least one turn, but maybe not much longer. Like 
what is the advantage to building a splitter here? Is there one? Not really. I could build a tantalum ray. But I think... Well... I happen to have seven right now, right? I was having a bit of trouble figuring out what to do with that extra money. I guess a Galvani would be fine, though, right? A Galvani or two? Maybe this is fine. Ah, uh, they finally managed to save up for a Plexo. Interesting. Although I do deny that by clicking Galvani, or at least make it a little bit bad. Yeah, when I was looking at the set, I forgot to consider the fact that Smorcus means you can buy a little bit of red and then sell it. And so my opponent committing to red was not as gigantic as a blunder, of a blunder as I imagined it to be at the beginning. How's this? They must attack... Well, really clicking the Smorcus is sort of mandatory for them here. They could save it if they want, but the red's not doing anything. So they really are attacking for precisely five this way, right? Which is two walls. Um, no, they can click my Galvani's, uh, but I guess that's okay. The Galvani's did their job then. They were $1 engineers in that case. Um... What else do I need to think about? I don't think it's a good idea to not cluster here. I could consider not clustering, but like killing these engineers is pretty... Oh no, actually this is the last time they care about engineers, so... Maybe I could consider not clustering. What could I do instead? I don't know. Cluster bolt's pretty good, right? <laughs> I don't want to let them... Yeah, I don't know. I think a cluster is still fine. The sooner you get it, the better. I'm already over the absorb barrier. Well, no, that gives them license to Plexo, right? No, they can't Plexo. All right. Let's try to keep it that way, shall we? So they're really just attacking for six here, which arguably means Plexo is good, but no, they want, they're, they're gonna not click my Galvani's this turn so that they can threaten to click them next turn, which makes me not want to Plexo. I don't think you should make this click, any of them. Well, okay, clicking one is an interesting option. You might convince me to lose engineers that way. Um, and that turns off, threatens to turn off two Galvani's or else turns off one for free, right? If I do this, they turned off one for free. If I do this, they turned off both for just one damage. So that's an interesting thought. Um, well, they're going to be attacking for six next turn, so I need an engineer. Okay, you got me. I guess. I think this is fine, though. I can't cluster, and I don't really want to. And this time they can't actually do anything to my Galvanis. That would be interesting. We're on more economy and more attack than the opponent. And more green. But my attack is dying off eventually. And I'm not that far from running out of clusters. So uh, I need to, I don't know, 
not lose somehow. I haven't really thought through the details, but I think not losing is a good plan. Um, I guess a force field is the way to defend four damage here. No, not while I'm into engineer. And the last turret. Hmm, hang on, I need more engineers, right, to keep getting fissions? I think those are still, or uh, clusters. Hang on, I should get a cluster now, and a wall, right? I won't be able to harvest my fission next turn, however, if I do this. What if I did this? And bought three engineers. Then I could. How good would it be to have six green next turn? It would be pretty good, I think. Plexo incoming, maybe? How are the wall supplies, by the way? Opponent has two, I have five. Okay. Oh, I love it if I can make them not click the splitter. I didn't think of this. I'm, I'm again in the problem where, like, I can't click my Galvani and harvest my turrets this way. Uh, so I think I'm giving up the Galvani, basically. I would much rather have six green than three. You do get three for this click, right? Yeah. Did it ever used to be four? I don't think so. All right, it looks like we bought a steel splitter hold somehow. Oh, if you insist. That's free. Ha! Got him! Uh, I think a tantalum's probably good here. I don't really need the extra money to buy another engineer. Uh, do I? I mean, I, like, right, I could do this. This would be the alternative to guarantee that I can still harvest a fission next turn. Uh, and then I guess I could just buy the tantalum that turn, right? Yeah, that seems fine. Right, I would be at four, seven green. Yeah, I, I would still have enough. And after that, I won't need to click uh, Fissions anymore because there won't be enough clusters left to buy. And I have all the Plexos I should need, I think. And I won't have enough gold to spend my green on tantalums, so I'll just have uh, excess green forever. I mean, maybe I can buy tantalums, but I won't be able to spend a ton of green on them, is all I'm getting at. considering buying a Galvani at some point, actually, since I'm not using these engineers anymore. Maybe I just need to buy a splitter, though. Or a Gauss Cannon? Could I transi transition into some kind of breach-proof thing gradually if I, uh... I don't know. That seems a bit, like, Unrealistic. I wish I could buy a cheaper attacker and get some Galvanis, but the fission turrets are all gone. I think this is fine. Wow. 
wall supplies, opponent has none left. I should have considered actually not clicking this tantalum. Thought about how whether my opponent plexoing would allow me to like deny absorb if I didn't click it. As it turns out, I don't know. This is sort. This is it. Like you can imagine, opponent absorbing for four on this turn, right? And so we gave them full value from the plexo. Um, how about next turn? I'm attacking for without the click. I'm attacking for one, two, three. Right. Um, four seems a lot better than that. So I'm gonna do that. They have a free steel splitter hold if I build a wall, though, so maybe I shouldn't. I can't build a drone. What if I just, instead of Galvani, built a drone? They're really great when you can turn them into uh, force fields or plexos, right? I, mm, I should have maybe not clicked here, actually, because this means my opponent can plexo uh, without me denying it value to it, right? If I attacked for three, plexo is bad for them, and they don't really have a way to defend on a splitter for three. Um, but I do get a, a free splitter hold this way. I still attack for three, right? Oh, it's not, it's not free, because I can do this, right? And that's kind of what I want to do, so. Next turn, we're attacking for... I have a choice. I can attack for four or five, depending on whether I click this, right? Um... They'll have two engineers around, which means they are not going to be too unhappy with four. But five is only like a convenient number for them if they have like a wall and a splitter. And I don't mind if they hold back their splitter. So I think five is the right amount to attack for. goodness for mute buttons. I had to go sneeze there, and you guys didn't suspect a thing. You thought I'd just fallen into a quiet reverie, perhaps. All right, well, we got them to hold back the splitter anyway. That's nice. And I can rebuy this Galvani. I don't know. Maybe I should be making use of my green to do more with my life, right? Buy plexos or something, but, like, what, uh... What can I do? I can't buy any attackers if I do that. I guess what I can do is float some gold to let me buy more attackers next turn. Like, is the opponent really going to buckle under three attack? They're not, right? They're actually attacking me for more. Also, they threaten to attack for only four. Um... So I kind of want the granularity of a force field instead of a wall. I need to find some way to make progress. Because now I'm suddenly only attacking for three, and I just make them lose an engineer every turn if they hold back the splitter. And meanwhile, they're attacking me for, like, a little bit. Not a lot, I guess. Two, at least. 
three for a while, four if they're on you know, every other turn, and they're probably never clicking this again. So I'm ahead in drones, but a little bit behind in damage, and I need to fix that. Um, maybe this drone is too greedy? The thing is, buying drones instead of NGs is a way to turn green into health when you have plexos and force fields and so on. Um, which is sort of like... What I want is a way to turn... To, to save up some gold so I can buy an attacker. Um, and I don't see a better way to do that than force fielding. The question though is like, is buying this drone good? What if I just floated the gold and then next turn... Well, I want an engineer to because like they're attacking for smallish numbers. That's the thing. I could cut either one of these and float for an attacker next turn. Right here I get splitter ng next turn. Oh hang on. Do this at least. Um, yeah, maybe that's a better use of my energy than a real drone is a Galvani. Then next turn I can still splitter. And I'll have extra energy left over to buy... No, I won't have any money to buy Galvanis with. So I do this. Let me buy a second Galvani to go with my splitter. Okay. This has developed into a much longer game than I thought it was going to. <laughs> oh wow, that's brave. Yeah. So th th what they're getting at with this is like, look, I'm only attacking for three, I'm killing an engineer. Um, if they can build two engineers every turn, they're not make I'm not making progress, right? Um, so that's why I need to get more attackers. Oh, I don't want another NG, another Galvani, because they are attacking for at least three, perhaps four, but I'm definitely losing an engineer, right? Um, so a second Galvani is not getting harvested. And a third engineer is not really doing much. Yeah, so I should just save this. You forgot to click your Smorkus. There you go. Oh, I mean, I guess there's that, right? Is that the, the Spare Engineer prevents them from going all in and attacking with everything to turn off my Galvani. Sure. But if they want to give up their Absorb to Plexo instead, I guess I'm alright with that. Here, obviously, they exploit me by attacking, by holding uh, the Smorkus. The, the, the Scorch and just attack for one, two, three. One, two, three, and clicking both of these. But it seems really good to get out one of these guys, doesn't it? Maybe this would be better. Then attacking for four is no good. Sorry. Attacking for three kills a force field instead of a wall this way. But then they get a free hold of one of these two, which I guess they would choose the splitter, right? I guess that's okay. I just, I would really love a tantalum ray. It adds so much more damage. <clears throat> 
in the short term. But I think it's sort of important that I save up a... I don't know. I'm not, either way, I'm not saving money, right? I think permitting my opponent to hold back the splitter and the emolite is not that bad. But the problem is, if I do this, they're going to get to hold again next turn. I need some solution to that problem. I really should have bought that extra energy last turn, but then I couldn't get an attacker this turn. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't buy any attacker at all and just like get more NGs for my granularity problems. Yeah, this might actually be a, a higher priority. I have enough attack already that like I kind of will eventually kill them. I just need to not get too badly beaten up along the way. All right, I'm attacking for four, which is killing two engineers, and they only have three drones. They can't even build two engineers per turn. Plus, this engineer is a drone, right, since I have a Galvani lying around. They can click uh, an Immolite to kill the Galvani if they want. Um, but that is, you know, spending some resources. Maybe they should do it. I don't know. Because is saving this to kill an NG that much better, really? Wall supplies are still fine, right? Yeah, I still have five. I looked like an hour ago and I had five. I'm kind of surprised that this is the first time they're able to cluster me. I guess that's what happens when you only have one conduit, huh? No, I'm not going to have any more... Uh... Hang on. Well... I'm holding one of these back, I guess. What, what if I did um, this? This is actually kind of cool. This makes use of my Plexo pretty well. And they're guaranteed to attack for at least six, so this gets value. And if they hold the splitter back, who cares? Yeah, I like this. This is making use of all the, the green I have lying around. Um, letting me get out a, a Galvani, and letting me, importantly, attack with this splitter. Obviously, they can attack for just five if they want, but that only is by holding Smorkus, which is silly. Doesn't matter, right? I give them a free Smorkus hold, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, but it doesn't do them any good to hold the Smorkus. Oh, you got me. I don't have a good exploit. Okay. I was going to congratulate him on his ineffectual exploit. Um, what do we do now? Probably just force field is okay. Seems fine. I'm pretty sure I've won this game. Like, I have twice as many drones, and I'm attacking for more? Question mark? Maybe? And I have an unlimited supply of green, and I can buy walls. Like, there's just a lot of advantages that I have. Um, if they end up converting all their drones into Galvanis, that's... <laughs> I don't know. They're not going to last long. Okay. That was exciting. Well, it was exciting at the beginning. At the end, it was kind of just a slog, to be honest. Um, but it was cool. Let's look at the stats on this baby. <laughs> All right. What a long game. So I think that fundamentally this is a green set. 
and th there's really not much place for red. Um, but, you know, my opponent got a little bit of value out of red. They got to absorb my first attack with a Rhino and that attack for a little bit, and they got this Immolite, which did damage for a long time. Um, they later actually built some more Rhinos for whatever reason, but mostly they just used the red to build two and a half permanent attackers. So, I don't know. That doesn't seem like a great investment to me. Um, given how much money you spent on the Animus and then spent on the Smorcus and the Emolite for the amount of attack you got, it doesn't seem that great. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be when I saw them doing it. I assumed they were trying to do some weird Shadow Fang nonsense. I don't know why I would assume that makes little sense. Um, just Tarsiers and Emolites, maybe. But uh, Smorcus is... Uh, the obvious continuation from this red, if you're gonna get red. And I, I should have seen that coming. Um, I wonder if I could have gotten blue earlier. Did I ever consider that, like, here? I did consider it. But I got the second fission, or the third fission, because my Galvanis make walls worse, right? Is that a good enough excuse? I don't know. Maybe. Why did they kill one here, by the way? Oh, they only attacked for one. Sure. And they killed it instead of an engineer, thinking that... I don't know. Normally you'd prefer to kill the engineers, especially because it means you can still threaten to exploit Galvani's if I ever get blue. Anyway, I think what I did was, like, sort of reasonable, just, like, empty the fission and cluster supply and then see what happens. Um, and then I had to transition into something, and... I was, I was pretty far ahead at, at the stage I started buying, like, splitters and, and tantalums, so... Exactly what I did maybe didn't totally matter. Yeah, just, like, it doesn't look like I'm way ahead because we both have, like, very few drones and not that many attackers, but I have more drones and more attackers, right? And it's only one more drone, um, but that's, like, 20% more, which is pretty big. Like, if your opponent has, I don't know, 20 drones versus 24, I don't know, I guess maybe 20% is not that much, but... I, I was stable here, right? On the turns when I force fielded, I could replace a drone, and my opponents were just gradually being whittled away. There was some turn where I forgot to buy a Plexo there, or, or, or a Galvani that it would have been good, but I don't remember, and I don't want to go searching for it. Um, <clears throat> I think the biggest decision this game was when to buy my Blast Forge, actually. And there were maybe a couple of tactical turns when I could have not bought a cluster, uh, predicting that it would give my opponent too convenient a defense. But just uh, keeping the pressure on with clusters and fissions was the way to go. And it worked. All right. Well, definitely just the one game this episode. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.